is kind of an introduction to some interactive visualizations and um, also a little bit of making maps using a library called Folium. So to get started, you'll need to run these couple of lines in uh, Terminal and make sure that you have the proper libraries installed and also that you're able to use the widgets in JupyterLab. They're not available by default. You'll have to both install this Node.js and then you have to install um, the widgets into the JupyterLab manager. But after you do so, we'll just import our normal libraries, matplotlib, we've got numpy and pandas. And then from the widgets, we're, well, we're going to import the widgets library as widgets, and we're going to specifically import interact and interactive. So let's start by seeing how we can make a basic slider. Um, this is a function that takes in some number or whatever, maybe a string, and returns the thing itself. So if we want to slide through a range of values as inputs and interact with them with this function, what we do is we take it and we pass it to this interact and we say what we want x to be. So we're going to let x be a slider that starts at negative 3, goes to 3, and we'll take a, a step every tenth. And when we do this, here we go, here's our slider. You see we move a tenth every time, and we can go up to three, and we can slide back to negative three. Okay. We could enter some something different for x, like a list, and what that interact will do is make a drop down by default. You know, and if we had any kind of list. Okay, so there's kind of the basic use, both like where we say what X is a uh, slider, and this is really what we'll probably use the most, and also where X is um, a list of values and it comes out as a kind of drop down. And again, as long as this function works with that kind of an object, you have choices. So we can't square apples. Well, we could multiply it by two. 